Hey, I'm Giselle, and today I will let you know where to find Zeus's armor set in God of War Ragnarok. In case you missed it, this game recently got a brand new update, bringing new game plus, new armor sets, and even new enemy patterns. If you want to get your hands on the brand new but familiar Zeus armor set, you will need to complete the main story first. It shouldn't take you that long though, since you can now skip the cutscenes. And upon beating the main questline, the remnants of Asgard quest will start. The very first stop you should make will be Vanenheim, precisely to the eastern berry woods, to collect the waste armor. Quickly defeat the enemies and sitting in the chest will be the waste guard. It will increase your runic damage and melee damage by 20%, but also increase the damage you receive by 100%. Next, you want to head to Alfheim. Some remnants of Asgard will be waiting for you in the Barrens. They can be quite a handful, but a proper build can make them fall quite easily. Upon defeating them, open the chest and get the race armor. It does exactly the same thing as a waste guard and yes, they do stack. Now, to get the chest armor, you will have to go back to Merselheim and face none other than the infamous trash talker Gna. And let me warn you, she got new moves. She got brand new moves. She has way more mix-ups and less punish windows. That said, yet again, a good build can still give you a huge head start in this fight. Defeat Gna and voila, you now have the complete Zeus armor set, Ragnarok edition. Now, I think the good thing is that you won't have to upgrade that armor set. It already comes at level 10, which is good. You won't have to waste resources and you won't have to waste your money. Here's the bad news, at least in my opinion. I've been making builds for a while, ever since the, the game released, so I'm well aware of, I'll say, the majority of every um, gear and enchantments. And in my opinion, the Justice Armor isn't as crazy as it was in God of War 2018. Right there, in that one game, it used to be the, the old mighty almighty armor set, but in my opinion, even though this armor is good, it is actually great when it comes to base damage, you know, if you don't want to use anything such as um, talismans to increase your damage, the armor set is amazing, it gives you high risk and actually high reward, but it is, it is it doesn't even come close to the kind of damage you can deal when you use the Berserker set. So in my opinion, the Berserker set remains the best chest armor. I mean the best, yeah, the, the chest armor remains the best in this game when it comes to damage. And it's not even close. That said, I can still find some news for the race and waste armor. But when it comes to the chest armor, I gotta be I gotta be honest, I don't see I don't see the value. It feels like a downgrade when it comes to all those things, all those chest armors we already have. And yeah, I, I, I will need to, to spend more time with it, but uh, I'm not I'm not impressed. And also there's one more problem. You have to beat Gna to get the chest armor. But then she is kind of one of the strongest enemies in the game. And you won't be able to try the, the armor set against her unless you read, I mean, you have yet another playthrough. And this game is long, it, it, this game is very long and I don't see myself having yet another playthrough anytime soon. But yeah, hopefully you will get your hands on this armor set and let me know what you think about it. Do you think it can dethrone the almighty Berserker set? If not, then, well, <laughs> we have so many more builds now to, to make. I like that, they made some quality of life improvements, but I still would have preferred to have a proper, you know, preset for loadout, I mean loadouts to be able to choose which build I want to use, and yeah, anyway, I'm Jiso, and thank you guys for watching, I'll see you soon, actually very very soon, peace! <laughs>
You are judging me.